What's up, what's up, y'all? What's going on? What's going on? I hope y'all in staying warm because it is cold outside. Hmm. I have been listening to all sides in this Kobe Bryant situation and this Gail King and Snoop Dogg. Um, Snoop apologized. He said, talk to his mama. You know, mama said, baby, two wrongs don't make it right. So he apologized for the, not what he said, but how he said what he said. Then I list, heard Eric Dyson. I got some things to say about that man. What's up, Daryl? What's up? Um, all during President Obama's presidency, Eric Dyson had so much to say about President Obama. Then when President Trump got into office, we haven't heard from him or uh, Pastor Cordell, neither one of them. But all of a sudden now, because you say you love Kobe and this, that, and the other, that we shouldn't be upset at, at the way Miss King did what she did. I'm sorry. Right is right, wrong is wrong. If the young man was acquitted and there was nothing, if they found nothing, he did nothing wrong. Now, he, 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 yes, he apologized because he felt that even though he, he misunderstood what was going, that this woman's experience was different than his and he, ex, he respected her experience. It, it wasn't an admission of wrong, right or wrong. It's like, I'm sorry, I didn't understand, realize that you felt differently than I did. I apologize. And then he took the rest of his life changing the way he carried himself, how he handled things, how he did things. So he learned from that experience. For someone to come in right after this young man had just lost his life and his daughter along with him. And then we've got someone coming in because you can make excuse after excuse about why black people weren't upset when white folks did certain stuff we expect them to do certain things but for some reason we have an expectation that the people that have the same skin tone as us will do the right thing when it comes to us there's an old saying a lot of us have heard it just because they your skin they not your kin there are a lot of black people that do not care anything about the rest of us. They have gotten their little, they've gotten their little so-called seat at the table. Um, they get their little scraps after everyone else is ate, and they happy with their little scraps. Um, Eric Dyson was talking about all the different things that Oprah had done for Chicago, this, that, and the other. That's wonderful. Thank you for what you did. But see, Past actions don't explain present actions. Um, if we're going to be fair, and that's what everybody's been saying, if you're going to get on to R. Kelly and Bill Cosby and all these different black people that got in trouble, um, do the same thing to the white folks that, uh, that you're supposed to be cool with when they do something that's wrong and they out of pocket and they do wrong. Um, we, we, we can't, we can't, we can't go hard on one side and then soft on the other. Um, I, 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 I commend Snoop for, you know, apologizing for his, the, his tone and the way he'd have been. One thing I'm, I'm glad he did, he didn't say what he said was wrong. He said, the way I said it is wrong. The way I came at you was, was not correct. So you still, you, you, but, but you did not hear Oprah say anything about, I'm sorry for what Kobe and his, Kobe's wife and children are going through. And neither did Gail King. Neither one of them have said anything about, we apologize. We are sorry for what the families that are going through. Y'all just, you know, talk about, oh, she can't go out by herself. She's not doing good. How do you think Kobe's wife is doing right now? She just got through burying her, her baby and her husband and some good friends. How you think she feeling? Nobody said anything about how they feeling. We worried, we, somebody worried about how Gail is feeling because people are mad at her. They ought to be mad because uh, Oprah and Gail have been, y'all been, been 
y'all been on a, a, other black folks, black men especially, and and throwing some chains and some coins here and there don't just don't does not make up for how you treat people that you know that supported you and believed in you until they started seeing different things about you. And I'm saying all of that stuff in my opinion about that situation to say this. There are a lot of people out there that do things in front of the cameras and do things for kudos or for bragging rights later on down the line. Do not be impressed with the silver and gold and the pretty and the pretty things that they do when they in front of you. What's really important is what do they do when they think no one's looking? How do they tr what is their real true character when there's no when there's no camera on? When when they think that they all by themselves and ain't nobody watching and they nasty to somebody that they have no reason to be nasty to. Pay attention. There's always two faces to every person. There's one that is is the one that they want to give you a, a good impression with and then there's also that face that there's their true face. Just like they say when you're dating somebody, you meet their representative before you ever meet them. The person that you meet when you're on the dates and you first courting them and y'all first going out, that's the politically correct person. That's not the real them. You catch the real them when they don't think you're around. They think, you know, that, that they got free moments, whatever the case may be, and they take that mask off. And they set it to the side and you see them in their whole, their whole splendor. Pay attention. Everything is not as it seems when you first see it. And everybody's not what they appear to be when you first meet them. Listen to the Holy Spirit. It will tell you move, run, stay, don't trust. You will hear it speak to you in your spirit. Pay attention. Don't ignore it. It's for your good. Mahalo, child. Peace.